Welcome everybody to Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. I'm super excited to try out the Historical Battles game mode. New to the Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Let's go ahead and start the number one mission. In the 16th century, privateering in the Mediterranean flourished as a result of the staunch rivalry between the Ottoman Empire and the European Christian states. Famous Barbary corsairs like the Hage... Hage... <laughs> Good God. Hey, Redin Barbo... Barbarossa and his brothers gained infamy because of their great success while privateering. In 1516, the brothers managed to take the city of Algiers, deposing its former ruler and creating their own Barbary pirate state. However, the Spanish were not going to let a pirate state exist so close to their homeland and sent a large army to deal with the Barbary threat and acquire the city of Algiers. Apologies if I pronounced anything wrong, but nonetheless, let's get started in this very first mission. One of my favorite games of all time, Age of Empires 3, in 2020, and it's all its glory. Looks like some of the textures aren't loading. The predicament, brother. The predicament, brother. The Spanish are at our throats. Do not worry, Hazir. The Spanish may have surrounded the city, but I have a plan. I have sent men to the Ottoman Sultan to ask for help. Inshallah, the Sultan will send an army. We must hold on until that help arrives. All right, so it looks like we're the Ottomans defending this, this very awesome fort, coastal fort. We got some ships. Very nice, the very Spanish nice. have constructed oh, siege camps outside of the city gates. As long as they stand, we cannot venture out into the countryside. Who's this? We gotta destroy the Spanish blockade the harbor. We will be unable to receive shipments from our pirate base in Churchill. Okay, let's chill for a bit. Let's uh, not go there right now. The, we've got Spanish uh, on all sides here. Let's build another ship. Let's get a galley going. We're gonna need to get our villagers collecting for us. And we're gonna need to get some more villagers as well. Since we're getting ships, we're gonna need to get some wood and gold. And we'll get the rest of the villagers to go to... Can you not reach there? We'll get the rest of the villagers that we train to go right onto food. Get inside the walls, men. Get some ships going. So this is the Spanish. I guess we're facing red and yellow, I believe. Both of them are our enemies. We need to be able to get shipments. Uh, but we can't while we're blockaded. We've got a mosque here to help us. Line of sight could be useful. Sure, why not? I don't think it's that useful, but we'll do it anyway. We got some Berber spearmen. So this is cool. These units were not able to use them in the main game when we are playing multiplayer or regular skirmish. So it's always nice to be able to try new units. Let's have a look at our characters here. Aruk Reese and Hizir. Again, sorry if I'm mispronouncing anything. Some Ottoman Barbary units. Of course, we do know the Barbary Corsairs. They've been a unit in Age of Empires for a long time. We'll get an army going up to the north side. Uh, we'll take out this north camp first. Got some green in there, so they might become ours if we save them. So that'll be good to get rid of that army first. Now I am worried about if this army pushes up. If this army pushes up, it'll be a long time to get our army to there. But we do have some barracks here, so let's go ahead and train some extra units. We got Berber Spearman, Berber Arquebusier, and Berber Archer. I feel like I should know these words, how to pronounce them, but anyway, okay, yeah, we definitely need more food, but uh, we'll keep it like that for a while, we might as well use these guys as well, and we'll take out this camp, we should be able to take it out just fine, 
Put some Rhoda Arrows, Pikemen, Crossbowmen. Shouldn't be too hard. And the Outpost as well. So we got a pretty decent sized army here. We'll just attack move. And we got some archers here in case they do push up. We got nine archers. Our uh, ships, we'll use them afterwards. Okay, here we go, here we go. We got our men on attack move. The spearmen and the barbaric corsairs. I always love the corsairs. They're a lot of fun. And I love these archers. I'm a big fan of archers. Is he a attacker? Will he attack? He's got a gun, it looks like. Yeah. And this guy's more of a swordsman. We can train Cors Barbary Corsairs from him, so we'll do that. We'll train five. And we can also build trading posts. If we can get these guys on our side, we'll be well off. So let's go ahead and destroy the outpost first so we don't lose any units. Uh, this guy does not have a seat. For some reason he can't attack. Oh, because he's training. We can take this treasure as well, get, some, get two settlers. We'll train two more villagers while we can. We've got tents here. Okay, the outpost is destroyed. We'll destroy this one. Yes, they become ours. So we just got four corsairs and two archbishers, which we don't even have unlocked until the third age. Okay, look at this. So we are in Algiers, on the North African coast, fighting off the Spanish army. We'll take out this treasure here. Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, I'm so happy they released this game. They were releasing Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition and the, and the first one. I was hoping they'd do a 3, but 3 is often forgotten among the Age of Empires series. I don't know why, it's always been my favorite. I understand that people like two. But I've always, always, always loved the third one. Did we get the treasure here? I don't think we have. I'm always interested in getting a uh, getting casual or competitive games going. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. Oh, the guardians aren't defeated. For some reason. Now can you? Why aren't these attacking me? That's weird. Okay, and we'll go take out the uh, this Spanish encampment. We'll right click there. Take out this guy, this pirate for some reason. He's not attacking us. Go help your friends down here in the southern camp. Two villagers, just go... To feed the population of Algiers. Oh dear. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to deal up or deal with uh, some more Spanish warriors. We got lots of lancers coming in. This is dangerous. We use our spearmen. They got an ability here. Let's use it. Okay, we took out a few there. That was that was wonderful. Can we use this one here as well? Take him out. We we're doing good. We're doing good. Why not go back to your peace? Now, if we can, take out this outpost. Okay, the lancers are done. We will get more and more villagers. Our ships are under attack. That's okay. Take out this one guy. Oh, they're coming for us. They're coming for us. Our ships, sh our ships should be fine. We got our archers as well. We need to take out the Spanish camp. We took over this farm. We have lots of goats. We'll kill the goats. We have some villagers farming away. Wonderful. That outpost will be enough to take out that. Just go in there, I guess. We'll upgrade our farms. We're destroying the Spanish camp. We're doing fine over here. We're actually... 
We're actually well off over here. We'll get some more units. I haven't been playing my best here. Okay, let's get some Corsairs out here. And some Spearmen. And we should be able to take out those camps. Now that this camp is destroyed, we'll have a look, see what's down here. To the south. We've got the upgrades for the farms going. we got lots of food coming in, so we're actually going to take a few of these villagers off. Put them on the trees and put them on the gold mines. We found some Spanish camps. Okay, now let's use our ships. Let's take out their ships. Alright, that should be fine. I'm not sure if we're strong enough to take on this Spanish encampment. Looks like it's a big one. We got lots going on now. We got lots going on. Go help your friends there with the, the outpost. Okay, we managed to take that out. We'll, we will, uh, we got cannons. We'll have this guy build a barracks. Shipments. Well done. We okay. And we'll build a stable there. We want to back up because they got cannons. Alright, so we will take, we'll take six Janissaries, we'll take some galleys, and we'll get four settlers. Let's train some more villagers. We need, we need some coin production going, so let's just go over here. I guess over here would be safer. And yes, we do need to build up our army and maybe put them together. We have three ships left. Let's use that to destroy this. Brother, word comes from the Ottoman Sultan. This mission, first mission, is a little bit trickier than I imagined. Prove to him that the city's defense is not hopeless. Tribal horsemen, army okay. and fleet. Well, that sounds awesome. 100%, 100% we will do that. We got six Janissaries, okay. Let's take out this fort to the south side. We will train units. There we go, we got five tribal horsemen. That, that, those will hopefully take out the cannons. We got some idle villagers, so... Get on the coal, gold mines here. Cut down some more trees. Definitely could use some more villagers. Our men are under attack. We don't want to engage too close right now, so once that guy's dead, we will we will retreat. We got one cavalry coming, pushing forward. Okay, come back here. We got our our explorers are down there. Okay, let's get some more. They're good against cavalry and buildings. They're good against infantry. So let's get some archers, some corsairs, and that's going to be, I guess, it for now. We got villagers. So let's get you on gold mines over there. Get on a berry bush. We got another shipment available. We'll get get woods faster. Then we can train more archers. We got two barracks here. We'll we will. Uh, Reinforce our army over here. We do need more wood. We need oh, we need lots of things. Let's have a look at our market. So we don't have any upgrades yet. We'll buy some wood, sell some food, and build a house. We just got six. Spearmen and six archers. Okay, this should be enough to take on the uh, south west fort. Be great if we could get to the third age, actually. So let's get these guys off here, off the farms. We'll get one guy going goats, 
And another guy going to the mine. What's this here? Oh, just, just a nice little tent. No purpose. Okay, it'll be good to get some more villagers for free as well from these plantations. So we will take out the south fort and then head up north. We'll attack move and we'll be on our way. Look at this little Berber army. We've revived one of our pirate leaders. So let's, I know there's a cannon in here, so let's just get the horsemen to get that right away. I don't know what they're good against. They're good against a low population cost, so it doesn't say. Where are you going, buddy? We need you up front. Let's use your swashbuckler. Oh no. Falcon dive. I believe the swordsman has the swashbuckler move. Another shipment on the way. Let's get. Uh, they mine faster. We need some more gold. I don't know if they can train units out of these barracks. Hopefully not. Oh, that, that crossbowman's new. Actually, okay, what's going on? Lots of idle villagers. Chop down trees in the countryside. Uh, it'd be helpful to age up, so let's get you guys on the gold line over there. We'll go to the next age. Age is very fast. One galley or two corsairs. Let's age up very fast so we can get our troops upgraded. We got our ships over here. Let's uh, get closer here. We'll break some walls just in case we need to land. Our, uh, the fort is getting taken down, but our units are also suffering some casualties. Quite a few casualties, actually. We got a couple of units coming to attack our fort. That should be no big deal. We'll train some archers over here. Well done. Okay, I don't believe we need to take this out right now. Regroup over here. By our little fortress. We will use this to upgrade our archers. Somehow we have an archer being attacked over there by the fortress. We can get mercenaries, we can increase attack and hit points. Let's just get eight more units for now. Are we training anymore at the moment? Five archers? Okay. Let's get moving then. Okay, careful. We will use these men as well. Join forces with our other army. When you destroy all four Spanish forts, do not lose our town center. Earn 15,000 XP to obtain the Ottoman help. Liberate the Algerian villages. That's our goal. We'll upgrade our units fast as possible here and we'll get some more Corsairs. Of course we got the Ottoman Janissaries helping our barber pirates. Oh we will get some Mamelukes if we take out this fort or this barricade sorry we should destroy all right we do need xp to help us with the to help us get x uh sorry to get ottoman help yes we'll have to take that out correct Let's see, let's get some... Does that cost gold? Doesn't... Oh, it doesn't look like it. In the old game, that, that usually meant it cost gold to get that shipment. Our army is here, we got some Mamluks on our side. Let's take out the uh, defenders here of this farm. 
still getting used to the the feel of the new Age of Empires 3 uh, layout and stuff, and graphics. I think it's running pretty well as, on my computer as well. I'm going to play around the settings probably for the next video. Hopefully the sound's not too loud. Okay, well, we'll just have this guy destroy that. Get some... Let's try some horse archers here. We'll get some spearmen to help destroy those trade posts. We'll get two cannons. And we'll make our military drop off just over there. I don't think we should be attacked from the west side anymore, so we'll take our corsairs, put them down here. We've liberated this village. Get on those plantations. Oh, never mind. They're called the states now in this game. Uh, let's take out this trade post. We got some spearmen and some horse archers to take out that trade post. Get some of these arquebusers. I don't know how to pronounce that. Musket men, we'll call them. Move men. Okay, we're doing pretty good for gold now, so we do need some farms. We'll, we'll take out these goats. Oh, they look pretty cool with red pants. Give up now, and we may spare some of you. No population room, my goodness. Okay. Build that one. I will not take that trade. All right, let's make a move. Well, actually, we'll build the trade post first. Because we need XP. Let's have a look what's over here. Do the ships to our advantage. There's a cannon right there. We gotta be careful of this tower, they're very good against boats. See? There goes our ship. Destroy this outpost. It's okay though, we don't really need the ships. Okay, we built this trade post. We'll take out this fort. We'll upgrade the trade route because we have two of them. We'll meet up with our other army. We only have one of our ships left. This tower's almost broken. Oh my god, there's Spanish ships coming in. Coming out of nowhere. Well, we'll create some ships of our own. We'll use this army to take out this fort. We actually have a good army down here. We have two cannons, two falconets. We have some cavalry. We have a good force right there. Hopefully our force down here is strong enough to take out this hill fort. Some reinforcements arriving from the south. We'll try to create some more units down here. We are losing men fast. But we're not doing too bad. We can get the falconets destroying these walls real quick. That'd be useful. We got these ships destroying our destroying our harbor side. But it should be no problem. Oh god. We should have combined our forces instead of split them up. Have no fear. Actually, maybe we should fear. We're not doing too bad. Okay, just attack the walls. 
We're not doing terrible. I mean, we're not doing fantastic, but we're not doing terrible. We might be able to take them out. It's these cannons here that's really messing us up. We need to get in there and destroy their falconet. And we'll destroy this outpost, hopefully. Get that cannon. Get their crossbowmen. Their fort. Oh, goodness. Maybe we'll wait. We'll try to build up a, a bigger army. Before attacking again. This fort seems to be going down a little easier. Or, if not for the fort, then the enemy units that are there. So it should be okay. Man, I need to manage my uh, idle villagers a little better. Going gold there. We don't really need wood, so we'll... We'll put you on the plantations, get some more farmers. Sultan is a man of his word and sends us to fight by your side. Let us drive these cursed infidels out of Algeria. We only have our cannons left. We've earned 15,000 XP, so what does that mean? Ottoman will send help. Have they sent us help already? Are these his help? Ah, oh, there it is. Wow, here we go, we got a... Oh yes, they've sent us five falconets. 20 Janissaries and 5 Abbas Guns. That'll be more than enough to take out this fort. We'll take out the North Fort, then we'll hopefully be able to take out the East Fort. And then after that, we'll take out the South. This, this ship can create units. Not bad, not bad. Keep attacking there. The fort is doing a lot of damage to us, but we have reinforcements coming in. We'll upgrade our, our units there. We will get some ships as well. Our falconets are under attack, but hopefully we can take it. We can take out that fort with our cannons and with our 21 units there. Here they go. The fort is attacking our cannons, but hopefully we can get some of that cannon fire off us. And they can attack the Corsairs instead. Create some more uh, villagers. We'll get these guys. Aid them here. Killed some goats. We need to find some more mines. These boats should help kill some of the uh, some of the Spanish forces. Nice. We'll train some units right here. How about that? Train some grenaders and some janissaries. Very strong units. We've taken out that fort, and now we can retreat. We've taken this one out too. Well done. Well done. So we did. We did take a lot of casualties. But with that said, we've taken out two more forts. So let's combine our forces. Our triumphant forces. Upgrade our Janissaries, and we'll get 10 Janissaries. And Mamluks. We'll get some Mamluks. Got three units just standing there that can help us. We've got an army coming in from these ships here. We'll get we'll get some Abbas guns as well. And we'll take uh, warships attack increased. Of course we have 
We have plenty of idle villagers. Oh, just one. Can we age up again? Or are we stuck in the third age? We're stuck in the third age, but that's okay. Third age is not a bad age. To be stuck in. Alright. This is giving us some problems. But we should be able to do actually quite a bit of damage to their fort here. Or their, their little military base here. We'll get some more Janissaries. Oh, we need to be closer to the shore. And we lack food. So, build a, f build a farm. Build two farms. Let's get that going really fast. And we're not doing too bad, so let's get this army going. Destroy that wall as fast as possible so we can get right in there. Something messed up here with the ghosts. Okay, maybe you guys should attack those units. The cannons need to get get attacking those forts. Pushing in from the west as well. Hopefully that'll be a good distraction. We got 15 units. The wall should be coming down any second. There we go. Get those units out there. Attack that thingy mahu. That outpost. Train some more units. Train some Janissaries. The fort will go down any second now. Well done. We've done it, men! Look at that. We've secured Algiers. Look at this. We've done it. We've conquered the Spanish forts. And we've taken Algiers. take Algiers by force. The Spanish had no other choice than to abandon the long and exhausting siege. The city remained in the hands of the two Corsair brothers, Hizir and Oruz. But rather than keep the title of Sultan of Algiers, the brothers handed the city over to the Ottomans, becoming governors of Algeria under Ottoman protection. The Spanish feverishly sought to take the city again and again. Even though all of their attacks failed, Oruts was eventually struck down in battle. Despite, or perhaps due to the loss of his older brother, his ear continued the fight against the Spanish. Working his way up the Ottoman chain of command, he eventually became Grand Admiral of the Ottoman fleet. He struck a decisive blow against the Christian Holy League at Preveza in 1538, earning himself the nickname Heyredin Barbarossa best of the faith and the red-bearded. Under his command, the Ottoman navy dominated the Mediterranean for many decades. And there you have it, everybody. That's the first mission, Algiers, saving it from the Spanish forces. It was a fantastic mission. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and comment below. We'll see you guys with the Christopher de Gama's expedition in the next video.